Hello everyone, thank you for watching this video. My name is Xiao Wang, and this work is studying creative ranking in display advertising. I'm going to talk about the hybrid banding model with visual pre ops for creative ranking. Hello, Online display advertising is a rapidly growing business, the and the advertisements are usually delivered to customers through e-commerce platform. Image ideas are the most widely used format since they are more compact, intuitive, and uh, comprehensible. Here are some examples. We call these images creatives. Actually, cre creative plays a great important role in e-commerce for exhibiting products. Sellers usually create multiple creatives for one product in order to provide the comprehensive demonstrations. So, for recommendation system, it is important to select the most appealing creative to maximize the click-through rate. To sum up, the task is, given a set of creatives for a specific product, we should select a creative which has the highest CTR. In order to explore the most appealing one, there are two important actions. One is exploring. That is to say, all candidate creatives should be displayed to customers and get the corresponding feedback. And the other one is exploitation. We prefer to display the creative that has the highest predicted CTR to ensure the overall performance. This procedure can be modeled as a typical multi-armed banded problem. It not only focuses on maximizing cumulative rewards, but also balance the exploration and the exploitation trade-off within a limited resource. There are two typical related work. One is the multi-arm banded methods, like the Epson Grady, Thompson Sampling, and UCB. These approaches are widely used strategies to deal with the banded problem. However, creatives change more fre frequently than products and most of them cannot have sufficient impression opportunities to get a reliable CTR. So this conventional banded model may suffer from cold start problem. The other, the other type of methods are visual aware recommendation model. They consider the visual features extracted by CM model and make a deterministic selections. These deep models are in a heavy computation and cannot be flexibly updated on time. Besides, the deterministic and greedy strategy may result in suboptimal solution due to the lack of exploration. Consequently, how to combine both the expressive visual representations and the flexible banded model remains a challenging problem. In our paper, we present a normal framework to tackle this problem. There are two major components in our model. One is the visual aware ranking model, we call it a VAM. We present a novel convolutional network with a list-wise ranking loss to select the most attractive creative. The ranking loss will concentrate on capturing the visual patterns related to attractiveness and the learned representations are treated as contextual information for the following banded model. Regarding the visual features as a pre or the hybrid banded model is proposed to involve consistently to make better posterior estimation by, ta by taking more observations into consideration. The first part is VAM. Given a product, we use the same model to extract high-level visual visual representations of all candidate creatives. And a linear layer is adopted to produce the scores. To learn the relative order of creatives, we need to map a list of predicted scores to a permutation probability distribution. Inspired by a related work called from pairwise approach to listwise approach, we simply find the probability of a creative being ranked on top one position as this equation. The exponential function based top one probability is both scale invariant and translation invariant. The corresponding labels are calculated as this equation. 
The temperature T is adopted to adjust the scale of the value so that it make the probability of top one sample close to one. With cross entropy as metric, the loss is written like this. Through such objective function, the model focuses on comparing the creatives within the same product. In addition to the least-wise ranking loss, we expect the point-wise regression enforce the model to produce more accurate predictions. We end the point-wise regression as regular. Finally, we end up both the ranking loss and the point-wise point -wise wise loss to form the final loss. In order to provide more reliable labels, we propose two simple yet useful solutions named the label smoothing and weighted sampling. Details can be found in our paper. In this module, we present an efficient strategy that tackles the double E dilemma by utilizing the visual pre and updating the posterior through the hybrid bending model. The, this framework is based on neural linear. We build a Bayesian linear regression on the extracted visual representation. We assume the online feedback data is generated as follows. Y donates clicked or non-clicked data, and F is the extracted visual representations by VAM. Different from the previous deterministic weights, we need to learn a weight distribution with the uncertainty that benefits the double E decision making. According to Bayesian theory, if the pre or distribution of W and sigma is conjugate to the data likelihood function, the posterior probability distributions can be derived analytically. We model the pre or we model the pre or joint distribution of W and sigma as this equation. Because we have chosen a conjugate pre or the posterior at time t can be derived as these formulations. After updating the above parameters at a t impression, we obtain the weight distribution with uncertainty estimation. We can draw weight w from the learned distribution and select the best creative for the product like this equation. The above model makes the weight distribution shared by all the products. This simple linear assumption works well for small data sets, but it becomes inferior when dealing with industrial data. So it is helpful to have weights that have both shared and non-shared components. We extend the equation to the following hybrid model by combining product-wise and creative-specific linear terms. This weight is for product-wise, and this is for creative-specific. They are disjointly optimized. Furthermore, we propose a fusion strategy to adaptively combine these two terms instead of the simple addition. Lambda is a sigmoid function. We found that if the impression are inadequate, the product-wise parameters are learned better because it makes use of the knowledge among all candidate creatives. Otherwise, the creative-specific term outperforms the shared one due to the sufficient feedback observations. This is the overall framework and the algorithm. In this section, we introduce the data construction. In order to promote further research and comparison on creative ranking, we collect a large and diverse set of creatives from Alibaba Display Advertising Platform. It composes creative images and sequential impression data, which can be used for evaluating both visual predictions and WE strategies. We have made this dataset public for research community. Here is the website address. We also present several statistical analyses about our data. Welcome to use it for the further research. To demonstrate the effectiveness of our model, we evaluate on both our dataset and a public dataset called Mushroom. The related methods are divided into some group 
some groups a uniform strategy, context-free banded models, linear banded models, neural banded models, and our proposed methods. This is the baseline strategy. It will randomly select an action because it has neither prior knowledge nor abilities of learning from the data. It gets poor performance on the test set. The second group are context-free banded model. They rely on historical data and keep updating their strategies. However, for the cool start stage, they might randomly choose a creative like a uniform strategy. So it is inferior to our model when which has the prior knowledge. The linear banded model is an extension to the context-free method by incorporating contextual information. These models achieve better results than the context-free methods, but they still face the problem of lacking representation power. This is the neural banded model. It will end a linear regression on top of the neural network. All these method, neural method models use our VAM as feature extractor and adopt different W policies. You can see our hybrid banded model obtains better performance than other W policies like uh, the Thompson sampling. Here is the detailed result. In this part, we conduct an ablation study on creative ranking dataset so as to validate the effectiveness of each component in the VAM, including list-wise ranking loss, point-wise regression loss, and noise mitigation. Besides, we also compare our VAM with learning to rank visual models. We show the results in Table 2 and Table 3 to demonstrate the consistent improvements. Here are some hyperparameter analysis. We found that final performance is not sensitive to these hyperparameters. Last but not least, we present several case studies, including strategy visualization and visual pattern visualization. We found that the HBM, uh, our hybrid banded model, makes good use of visual pre -offs and adjusts flexibly according to the feedback signals. In this part, we show the response of our VAM according to the activations on the high-level feature maps. We found that the CLM pays attention to different regions adaptively, including products, models, and tests on the creative. To sum up, the contributions of this paper includes a visual aware ranking model. It is capable of evaluating new creatives according to the visual appearance. The second is the hybrid banded model. It can make a better posterior estimation by taking more observations. By proposing this creative dataset, we would like to draw more attention to this topic, which benefits both the research community and website user experience. Thank you so much.